Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you an app called Mojo. So Mojo is this really cool app that allows you to edit your photos and make them look really good. So let me show you guys how to do it. You're going to want to download Mojo and just open it up. It's completely free and it's a great editing. So without further ado, let's start editing a photo to show you guys how it works. So. I'm just going to choose a random picture, so let's just choose this one because it's ugly right now. So we have this picture, right? It's not special or anything. We're going to try to make this look pretty nice with this program. So I'm just going to go from left to right and go through all the features we have in the editing part. So first let's go on the square feature. So here what you can do is you just make sides on the corners so let's say we want to fill it center it which I know why would you even go in this if you want to do that because you want to put edges on the sides let's just go to the edges now if you hit this little color thing you can switch the color so we can have it any color we want we can also slide it around so for now, I'm not going to use this, but we'll come back to this feature. So it's going to ask you if you want to keep any of the changes. I don't, so I hit OK. So now we have filters, and we have textures, we have beauty, we have all these. So the way I mostly edit my pictures is firstly, I select how much of it I want to crop out. So let's go to the crop tool, and I'm going to go on free. There's a bunch of them you can choose from, but I'm just going to use free for now. So I'm going to select just the part I want, and that way we'll just have what we want, so it's going to be easier. So now we have that. Okay, so now I'm going to go into filters. So this is a really fun part. So there's so many filters, it depends for what you want. If you're taking a picture of people, you have the portrait and all of these things back here. Um, but we have a picture, so there's just super many, so like in basic, we have all of these, we can change them around. I like that one for now. Um, there's just so many. And then pastel. Yeah, you can go over all these yourselves, because my video would be like a few hours long if I did this. So, let's just go over some of my favorites. So, one of my favorites is art. So art is really unique because you can make it look like a sketch, which is mostly kind of ugly. You can, or sorry, cartoon. This is a sketch. It's pretty cool. Makes it look like a cartoon. So if you wanted to make a cartoon book or something, you could use that. But then these I really like a lot because it makes it look really nice and it's just beautiful. So what we're going to do is make this picture look cool, of course. Okay, so let's say we don't want this much of whatever this is called. So what we can do is hold down on it, release, and then this little bar comes up. So here we can set the how much we want it to look like, as you can see up on the picture. So I'm going to set it to here, maybe? Oh yeah, I wanted this one. So let's set it to there. So now if you're done with something, go ahead and hit the check mark. Okay, so now let's go into textures. No, wait, first, let, now, let's go into the square, because I told you guys we were going to come back to this. So that looks nice with the white sides. I'm going to leave it white. Um, so let's go ahead and should we move it to the side? No, I like it good in the middle. So I'm going to hit the center button again, and let's hit the check mark. Okay, so now... Let's go to textures. So textures basically puts a picture above the picture that they have selected for you. So like in grain, we can make it look like there's stuff over it, I guess. Um, I'm going to go to vintage. We can make it look old if you want, like if you're doing something that you want to make it look old. You know, I like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead up and check it off. Oh, and up here you can make it dark. I'm blind! I'm blind! Ah! So, let's just do that right there. Hit the check mark. Okay, so now we have this. So, 
Beauty is a whole other different thing. If you click on beauty, you basically need a person's face for this. But what you do is you select their eyeballs and their mouth, and you can make their eyeballs look bigger and their face look slimmer. Um, I don't really ever use this, so I'm not even going to show you guys. This is only if you're like a fashion person and you want to make someone look better than you actually do. Um, but I have tried it, and you know, it does make the skin look softer, and make your eyes bigger, and all that stuff. So, that's pretty cool. And then we have the text. Wait, okay, so text. So, this is one of my favorite things, because have you ever had a picture and you wanted to write something on it, but you didn't know how? So, Moldiv can do this, and there's so many different texts to choose from, it's amazing. So, since this is door, let's just write door. And now, that looks a little too, like, awesome for this door. Like, it's a halo or something. So, we are going to maybe make it a little bit more fitting to this picture. So, look at all these guys. There is so many. I'm not going to look through all of them. Probably the best ones are on top, so I'm going to stay up here a little bit. Um. So, let's just go ahead and choose one. This part always takes forever because there's so many different ones. Nah, let's just take that one. Wait. Okay, so now, let's say I don't like this. I just said I like that one, but let's just say I don't. So I can drag it down into the trash can and throw it in the garbage. So let's make another one. Let's write door again. Okay. So now, if I want to change the color of this, I go to this little color wheel. And here I can select the color. So I'm gonna make it kind of red, like the trees in the background. And now I can make um, the, if I made a shadow, I can make the shadow different colors and all that. This stuff you should try to figure out yourself because there's so many different things. So I like this for now. So I'm just going to check it off. So now I'm gonna flip it around and drag it over in here. Make it a little bit smaller. Yeah, put it right there. So, maybe we should have done that before we've done the square, but it looks pretty good. So, I'm gonna hit the check mark again. And now, let's see what we haven't done yet. So, stickers, it's kind of cool if you just wanna mess up your picture, or you could put a sticker of something else in. So, if I hit this, the scissor with the circle on it, I could go to my camera roll and take out this wheel, let's say. So now I can cut out the wheel whatever I want. Since it's a circle, I guess I'll just use a circle. So I'm gonna make that circle, hit the check mark, and now look guys, I have a wheel in my picture. So make a little smaller, put on the side here. That just doesn't look right, so I'm gonna throw it away. So you got that option, and then you can hit the normal sticker button. So here you can just make stickers on your picture. So, there's lots of different ones. Pretty cool though. And see, now this thing with Moldlink. Once you get into the bigger, like not necessarily bigger, but see now, if I want more stickers, I gotta pay five bucks for 464 stickers. So, I'm not gonna do that, because I don't need stickers. I have enough stickers. But if you wanted more stickers, you have to pay. So, to get out of that, you just hit that little down arrow. So, we're not gonna put any stickers. Um, so this is also one of my favorite features. I got a lot of favorite features on this. So here's the blur. So let's say I wanted to make it blurry. Like you just see it made it blurry. It's kind of cool, but you know, I'm not gonna need that in this picture. But for some things like you want someone's face in the back and blur it out. It's a great tool. I just wish you could draw like around something and make that blur because you only have the option of the lines or the circle, or the whole thing blurred. Um, and then here's your blur, um, sensitivity, I guess. So, let's say I wanted to make it, like, from straight to blur, then I go like that. And I gotta set that up back there. So now, we can do that. You can play around with this, too. In this picture, we don't need any blur. We already went over the crop, and I'm guessing you can figure out what rotate does and what skew or what 
whatever that's called does is you can kind of twist it um so let's say i wanted to make it go like that it's pretty cool you can make it a little bit more three-dimensional almost um i'm gonna make it a little tilt wait what does this do oh see i've never seen this feature before it makes it blow out like a fat person um let's just use let's just not use that um clarity what clarity does is you can make it super super clear or how you took the picture yeah it almost looks cool a little bit clearer so i'm gonna leave that check that off and then we have exposure so you can make this super bright like And then here we have our color. So yeah. And then here we have our vibrance. I I usually never mess around with these fade highlights and shadows. Yeah. Um. And then we have sharpen. So if you have a really really blurry image, you can sharpen it here. Just make sure not to over sharpen, or it's gonna look kind of weird. So now this is a feature most people don't see. It's called double. I don't know what that word is. Okay. Um, so I'm just gonna use that wheel again. And so now basically what we can do is we can lay an image over another image with it being kind of see-through. So, so down here, this is what you're gonna really need these for to make it look like you get the idea. So we're not going to use any of that, but for some things it's really cool. Like I could make someone burn up if I took a picture of a fire and then a picture of a person. I could basically make them look like they're burning. Or they're in the fire. And then we have this. I have seriously never figured out this feature yet. If you guys know what this feature is, please comment down in this lecture below because I really want to know what it is. Because I don't see it doing anything. So uh, that's about it for the editing. So now let's say you were done with this picture. So all we're gonna have to do is hit this little arrow coming out of the box. Oh, and by the way, these little arrows here, you can go back and see through all the edits you've made. So we basically went from that to that. I'm gonna make a screenshot so I can show you guys at the end. To that. So it you can see the difference. I mean, we seriously edited it with that filter, but it looks way cooler now than it used to. So now let's go ahead and finish that little arrow pointing out the box. So it's not saving to our camera roll. Okay. I have old phones, so it takes longer. So now from here, you can share it to social media sites. You can go to more, send it to someone, um, open in something. But now we're done with the image, so we're gonna go home. So now here we have the edit, we just went over that. Collage, I'm gonna go over really quick. You can basically just choose a collage and go into your album. Take um, a photo, two photos, uh, depending how many spaces there's in your collage. Wait for it to get them all in. And now we have two images in here that we can play around with. We can adjust the frame. We can adjust everything you really actually want. Um, so you can just play around with all this. It's really fun if you want to put an image in another image. And then I'm just trying to show you guys how many collages there is. I mean, you guys aren't going to get bored with this. So that's pretty cool. So you can make like a person to heart and around it have like a beach or something. I don't know. So let me go back. I'm going to discard the changes. We have magazine, so this is really, really cool. I actually bought, like in, like I said before, you have to buy some extra stuff, but you get quite a few magazines in the beginning. So let's say here I want to take leaders. Um, tap here for an image. This doesn't really fit, but I'm just gonna select that. And now it's going to load. And now the door is the leader, so. You can make kind of magazines, joke around with your friends. Um, I've actually made some pretty cool things with this, so have fun with that. And then 
we have camera. You got a camera on your phone, right? And then we have beauty. I kind of went over that too. Rookie cam. These stuff you don't really need. These are just different apps sometimes and all that. So guys, that is basically it for ModeLive. For a conclusion, I think it's a great app. You should definitely edit your photos on it. You can make things look so much more different. Um, you can do lots of fun things with it. So guys, thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe.